The hallway is covered in wet spots leading from the aquarium to the office. Interesting. Someone might slip on that, you know? Koji, I think you found a clue. Really? Nice! <laughs> High five! I high five Koji and continue investigating! <laughs> I don't. Koji, you're my homie. You really are. Good day, good people. It is episode two of Hyper Danganronpa. It is the year of the aviator, and I'm your United States aviator. Welcome back to Bucket of Dolls Overflow, and I am still wearing the same shirt because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this right afterwards. In fact, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna change shirts for you guys, so you guys have the appearance that I have. I have. Recorded this on a different day because I, right now I just, you know, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling it, you guys. I'm like, I, I need to figure out who did this. I need some more information. I need some truthfulness. I'm going to stand up real quick. Ah. Ah, all right. Change shirts just for you guys. Goggles too. Got to match up. We need to find out what happened to our good homie. Let's find out who killed our homie. I stare in horror at the corpse floating gracefully in the water. That corpse, of course, used to be my friend Marie. The way her body drifts almost makes her look alive. Maybe she is alive. I didn't hear no body discovery announcement. I didn't hear a death. I Maybe she's holding her breath right now. Look, I don't know. <sighs> what? The... Fuck. Ah! Uh, uh... Well, what the fuck? Is that Marie? No, no, what's what's going on? Maya, you were here first. You should know what's going on. She's dead. <laughs> A few more people rush into the room. Oh, my sweet lord. Like poor Ophelia. Our sweet, sweet Marie. Huh? What's going on? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh no! Is she okay? Son, she's bleeding in the water. <sighs> Did something happen to... Oh. Oh no. Another group arrives. <sighs> what the hell is going on in here? Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> what the hell? Did someone actually fucking die? M Marie? I is there a chance she's still alive? There's no- well, there goes my theory that she's still alive. I was like, maybe she's still alive. I ain't hear nobody know. Because apparently there's just no body discovery announcements. There's no way. I can tell she's been here for a while. She was dead by the time I found her. H hey aren't we missing some people? Y you're right. We're missing Tamako and August. Don't worry, she's right here. Is that... blood? <laughs> Tamako, you're gonna have to, uh... You're gonna have to explain a little, cause, uh... That Marie? Girl, you're covered in blood. What's going on? Marie's dead. That's what's going on. Marie is dead, and in that tank, and there's nothing we can do to bring her back. We're never going to eat her breakfast again. We're never going to talk to her again. I'm never going to see that smile again. Oh, I'm sorry, Maya. Oh, I'm sorry, Maya. But what now? What do we do now that she's dead? You investigate. Huh? Remember you guys have a class trial! If you don't guess the culprit, then you all die, and they get to go free. Oh yeah, I guess you did mention that when we first got here. No, so nonchalant. <laughs> well now, it's time to get ready. You have some time to investigate before the trial, so I suggest you get to it. Investigate? So we really have to do this. And we have to figure out who it is, or we die. I guess we should start investigating. I guess. Okay, Maya. Get it together. 
do it for Marie. Do it for Marie. We got it. We got it. We got to do it. Do it for the vine. I was investigation time. Okay, well, just like uh, when we were investigating earlier, we got a whole bunch of exclamation points. So uh, let's do this. Let's, uh... <clears throat> All right, so what do you have for me, Frog? Hey, Mai, I got something for you. <clears throat> I doubt this can be any good. Uh, I think you'll appreciate it a lot. <laughs> it's actually the very first Kurokuma file. The what? The Kurokuma file. Take it. Kurokuma hands me a tablet, which I then turn on. Inside is a list of the details relating Marie's death. The victim, Marie Follette, the super high school level volunteer. The time of death was early in the morning at 6 a.m. Her body was discovered at 7 a.m. So there's an hour between death and discovery. Wait, 7 was when 4, Victoria, Kami, and I find her. Didn't Hunter find her first? That's correct. In the Freedom Academy killing semester, we have a somewhat loose definition of discovery. A body isn't discovered until it is found by exactly three people. But once three people have seen it, physically, it has been discovered. Interesting. Right. And you know who the killer is, right? Of course. If I didn't, the trial wouldn't be very fair, would it? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that must mean there's some kind of surveillance system. I get back to reading the Kurakuma file. The cause of death is unknown. Well, that's unhelpful, especially for the first case. Oh wait, no, 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 it's Uncone. Uncone? Well, I know it, but I can't give, uh, just go around giving you the spoilers. You have to figure it out on your own. So does that mean the cause of death plays some kind of part in revealing the killer? Right, you? Figuring out the cause of death is just one step on the road to finding the killer. Taking away a learning opportunity would make me a bad headmaster, wouldn't, uh, would it not? So you left it out to make the trial more interesting. I get back to the file. Marie's body was found in the aquarium's tank. Yes, I see that. That's it? We already know that. We already knew all of these things. The only thing this told me is the actual time of death. Like I said, I can't tell you everything. You didn't tell us anything. Hog, ah, stupid frog bear. Truth bullet. Kurakuma file. Okay, well, we have truth bullets. I saw that here when I did a quick save. All right. We got times one kuma file. All right, cool. So I guess that's how it'll be used in the, uh, well, this didn't disappear. Okay, so they don't disappear. That's what I have learned today. Yep, 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 yep. Can I just get another one, then? Is that, is that a thing I can do? Did I get a second one? I did! That's <laughs> weird, but oh, I'll take it. Hey, my, did you notice this huge blood stain? How could I not? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of the first things I noticed when I walked in. How do you think it got here? <sighs> I bet Tamako tortured her or something before drowning her. Probably a bunch of blood, too. Probably a bunch of her blood, too. Blood stuff. You think Tamako did it? Uh, how could I not? She was the last one to come in, and she was covered in blood. I guess... Whatever happened, I bet this bloodstain will help us figure it out. Alright, bloodstain. Interesting, thank you. Uh, I guess you're going to say something with me here, and you're going to say something with me here. I appreciate you too. What do you have to say? <clears throat> Weird. The water level lowered? Uh, yeah. No crap it lowered. She had to get into the... Uh, she had to get in somehow. The only way to get in that hatch you- oh wait that. The only way to get in is that hatch you found. So I guess we can walk on top of this. Interesting. I didn't know that. Look, it's gone exactly to the bottom of it. Meaning the water came out when it opened. Okay, okay. So we know that hatch was opened at some point to let the water out. Okay, so the water level is lowered. Interesting. So then my theory about there being water on the outside is wrong. Hey Four, is there anything weird that you noticed? Leave me alone. Come on, aren't we all supposed to be working towards the same thing? Not necessarily, you might be the killer. I'm not. Can't you tell me anything? Fine, but only because it's obvious. 
Then again, I guess it wouldn't be obvious for a dunce like you. Just spit it out already. Fine. Do you see her body? From here, you can see her wounds. Her wounds? Where do you think all that blood is coming from, you dunce? Wow, she's just gonna keep calling me dunce. It's like degenerate male all over again. If you look closely, her ba her whole body has various scratches and bruises, especially around her hands and legs. Does that mean there was a struggle? Congrats, Sherlock. You solved the mystery. Do you want your prize now? Lay off already. Is there anything else? Yes. As you can see, most of the blood is coming from her head. It doesn't seem like she suffered some kind of head wound. It does seem like she suffered some kind of head wound. It must be pretty deep in order for the bluff to draw that much blood. So she was bashed against the head with something? So she's covered in small cuts and bruises, especially on her hands and legs, and there's one big wound on her head. Hmm. Alright, interesting. <clears throat> so she is dead. That's uh, saddening, sad news bears. So let's keep going. What are you doing here? <clears throat> hey, when you guys are done investigating, come on through this door. I'm not done investigating. Hey Maya, do you think you can look at this floor? Uh, sure. I look at the floor to see... Water? The hallway is covered in wet spots, leading from the aquarium to the office. Interesting. Someone might slip on that, you know? Koji, I think you found a clue. Really? Nice! <laughs> High five! <laughs> I high five Koji and continue investigating. <laughs> I don't, Koji, you're my homie. You really are. Someone really ought to clean up this floor. What if someone slips and gets hurt? You, you looks like a, such a tough guy, and you're just like, I, you're, you're precious, Koji. I hope you don't die. I hope you make it to the end. What's in here? Maya, it's so tragic. Yeah, Marie died so young. Not that. <laughs> Check this trash can. <laughs> what? <laughs> I look in the trash can. Wet paper? Not just any paper. That was the manga I was working on. It's ruined. I can't even read it anymore. You can't even read it anymore. We can't even read it anymore. Who would do that? Ruin my manga and then throw it in the garbage? It's wet. This might be important. We need to find who did this and punish them. Okay, so her manga's in here. So it, it seems like it feels like it's almost Kakona now. You heard, you feel? Hey, what do you have for me? Hey, Kami, you have a good memory, right? Of course. <clears throat> what would you like for me to remember? Do you remember the order of people who came in after we found the body? Ah, so you want me to list that then? Very well then. We were in the first group to discover the body. In that group, there was me, Miss Hester, and four. Ah, uh, I see. I guess. We, on the way here, we didn't see that the water, the floor was wet. So someone else came in with a different group, I guess. After that, Ricardio, Chet, Caesar, la la la, Leona, and Koji walked in. Assuming Hunter went by the door, meaning he got blood. Ah. Uh, assuming Hunter went Door by door, meaning he got the boys last, which means the second group is mostly boys. After that group comes Kakona, Ash, Hunter, and Oliver. So Kakona's the only non-boy in that group. I'm assuming it took some extra persuasion from Hunter to get them to wake up. Finally, the last two to arrive were August and Tamako. Okay, I think I got that down. Thanks, Kami. Anytime. Thank you for your account. Oh, can I, like, actually look at the truth bullets? Let me save real quick. No, save? Yes, save. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'll try with this one first. Oh, okay. Is there a way that I can, like, combine them too? That's interesting. Uh, auto sort, whatever. Okay, well, I'll just remember them. I'm great. Lounge, okay. Hello there, my boy. Hey, Hunter. Ah! D did I scare you? But whatever, I'm just a little shaky. Ignore it. So you were the first person to find Marie, right? Yeah. Do you think you could tell me about what you saw? Yeah, alright. 
So I got up pretty early because I wanted to check on, you know, the thing. I actually went into the aquarium at 6.45, I didn't think anyone would be there, but then I saw all of that. I immediately ran to wake everyone up, you, and you know the rest. Did you see anything strange besides the body, I guess? If you mean suspicious, then yeah, everything's suspicious about the scene. I did see something pretty weird, or at least I think I did. What did you see? Was it the killer? I mean, maybe? So, when I saw the body, I realized what it was, and I kind of freaked out, and I bolted as fast as I could. But on the way, I think I saw something out of the corner of my eye. What was it? Some kind of shadow, hiding behind the stairs that go up to the big part of the aquarium. Wait, so you might have seen the killer? Well, at the time, I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me. I just saw a dead body, you know, it messes with you. So if that's true, then at 6.30, someone was still in the aquarium. Interesting, so someone's in the aquarium at 6.30. Someone was in the aquarium. Uh, so they would walk out and leave those water things, and then as they were in their rooms, they changed their clothes. And that's how... I feel like we should have, like, water going all the way back to their room then. I guess. I don't know. Uh, am I going the right way? Ah, yes, yes, yes. So we go dorms here. How you doing, homeboy? Greetings, Maya. If you were investigating, I would suggest checking Tamako's room. It's quite foreboding. Tamako's room? I'd rather not say. Just see for yourself. Alright, Tamako. Caesar, what's up? It's rough in there. Okay. Tamako's room. Greetings, Maya. Looks like you got... Uh, the blood clean up. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> On Tamako's floor, there is a scene of some kind of depraved ritual. Lit candles, chalk drawn signals, I know all about things drawn in chalk and salts and sands. Freaking Keo Jr. And blood splatters litter the ground. I have to walk around all of it just to get around the room. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, well, what's up? So this is some kind of ritual. I'm just standing in blood right now. Looks like it. It's fucking weird. That girl is batshit crazy, I tell ya. And that ain't even the worst of it. Check this shit out. Victoria produces a small bag. Inside are vials of blood. Yep, apparently that fucker took a quite a bit of Marie's blood after doing her off. That's disturbing. Tamako's room, added as a truth bullet. Uh, what's up? So, do you have some kind of explanation for yourself? Of course. I was using the blood as a way to converse with the... With who? Bia... 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 Biazaloth. Biazaloth. Biazaloth? Be... Be easy. Uh, who? Biazaloth. King of the 17th layer of hell. I wanted to ask him for my... Uh, ask him for advice on what? You were using the blood to perform demonic rituals, to talk to a, a demon. Yes, I was asking for help finding the escape hatch. That's... that's twisted, man. Uh, okay. I guess I... well, if he told her and it worked, then she would walk right to the, the escape hatch. Uh-oh. <laughs> she seems to be, uh... getting more and more guilty by the, the minute. Hey, August, you showed up with Tamako, right? What's the deal with that? Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a long story. So I woke up pretty early, so I decided to check on... to snack on some... Uh, to get something to snack on from the kitchen. On the way, I heard someone coming, and I figured I'd wait to see who it was, and lo and behold, it was Tamako. But there was one thing off. She was covered in blood. I decided to follow her and see what's going on. Uh, so she enters this room, but the weird thing is she leaves the door open. So I watch for a while, trying to make sure she doesn't notice me. Eventually I go in and confront her. I grill her for a while, asking about what she's doing, where the blood is from, but I don't get much. I guess that's around the time that Hunter started getting people. He came to Tamako's room and saw us talking and told us to go to the aquarium. So I took Tamako with me, and that's where we rejoined the crew. I see. So that means Tamako was... Ooh. That's what she was doing early in the morning. 
So she technically has an alibi. God fucking disgusting. I agree. Yeah, I, I went in there. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. It is bad. Yep. Should I go into Marie's room? Maybe there's a clue in there. Nope. Alright. So they were in the kitchen, so there should be a clue that way. I see you, Oliver. I'll hang out with you. Wow, everyone has something to say. When did you- what? Hold on, you were in the other room. Hey, Maya, who did you end up telling about the hatch? No, don't tell me it was her. Okay, okay, so that means the hatch is involved in this. Probably. Did you tell anyone else? No. That means the only people that knew where the hatch is is you, me, and her. Not necessarily, someone else could have found it. Or at least that we know of. Truth bullet, the hatch. Okay. What's up? What was the deal with all of that blood on Tamako? Yeah, that was pretty strange. Not only that, but she was the last person to show up and she was covered in blood. And the weirdest part is that she pretended to be surprised by Marie's body, as if she didn't do it. Oh yeah, I guess that did kind of... I guess she did kind of act surprised. God, what a weirdo. I'll be glad to see her get punished. Uh, her appearance, yes, she was covered in blood. Hey, what's up, homeboy? Home slice. Homeski boneski. Hey, Ricardio. <sighs> Hello, Maya. Don't you think this whole situation screams tragedy? To think we were promised to escape only for it to be taken away from us. Oh yeah, Kurokuma presented the whole escape hatch as a motive. I guess we can- s I wonder if we can still use it. Unfortunately not. I inquired with Kurokuma about that very thing, but received troubling news. Since a murder has occurred, the escape hatch is no longer a viable motive, so it has been permanently locked. So that means we can't escape anymore. It seems so. Alright, well, <coughs> the escape is gone. Locked hatch is added to the truth bullets. Alright, so the hatch is locked, locked now that the murder has occurred. Classroom A. And it's chat. <coughs> Hey Chad, have you noticed anything weird? Oh uh, yeah, kind of. It's been going on for a while though. What is it? Well, for the past few days, I've been noticing weird cuts and stuff showing up on me. Chad pulls up his sleeves to show me his arms. There were small cuts. That is pretty weird. Do you think it has anything to do with Marie? Maybe. Chad's account. Okay, interesting. So, I really don't know. I don't know what that, the, the whole cuts thing is about. If we all have cuts, then something's up. Uh, I think we're done investigating, actually. I've gone into all of these rooms. I still don't know who did it. <laughs> I really don't. I kind of think it was, uh, Kakona. Which is a shame, because I, always, I was starting to like her, but, uh, if it was her, then she's on my no-no list. Uh, Koji spotted this water on the floor, and I am done investigating, so I can go through this door. It's time for the class trial. Inside the metal door is a long, dark hallway where everyone gathers. Kurkuma leads us down the hallway to a door. He opens the door, and we all begin to file in. <clears throat> the room is a huge glass dome, leading out into the open sea, where we can see fish swimming around us. That's pretty neat. Wow. We really are underwater, huh? Koji, is this news? Is this news to you, sir? <laughs> <clears throat> this is way too creepy. It feels like it could crash on us at any second. And also, surprisingly enough, I think Kakona was one of the few people we didn't talk to at all during this investigation. I don't even know where she was during this investigation. I don't think we talked to her. <clears throat> all right, all right, quit your yammering and get into your places. There are spots for everyone! Oh, look at this! This is a nice picture! Uh, we all get into one of the spots available. Where's her spot? Where's where's my homegirl spot? Ah, oh, it's right in between those two. That's a shame. That's still a, a dope picture. I like this. This is probably... In, you, you, you guys have probably seen this one, because it's probably the thumbnail, because that's a good shot. That is a good shot right there. In fact, let me, let me get that shot real quick. Just gonna snatch that. 
whatever it is. Okay. <clears throat> the moment of truth arrived. It finally arrived. We have to find out Marie's killer or we all die. I'm ready. Hey, hold on. It's my favorite part. And I'm in fours away. Hold on to uh to 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 make this uh this this properly this this proper effect. I'm gonna give you guys a quick transition. My face is gone, but I'm still here. A deadly lie. A deadly truth. Oh Murray. A deadly trial. I'll take them all on. Trial starting.